Howdy folks, welcome back, KMJ Refining. Appreciate you stopping in. Today we're gonna to make a solid gold, 24 karat gold ring. Uh, it'll be comprised of refined gold that we refine here in our lab. So we're excited to do this. We're, we're actually gonna make a video of it. We have them already for sale on our website. Um, we just wanna show some of the process that goes into it, maybe understand some of the prices. So I will go ahead and stamp the ring out uh, we'll just start with a round disc and then we'll punch the center out of the disc and come with a flat ring and then we'll start to fold the ring over. Uh, I do prefer to do it that way with these rings because it's 24 karat gold and I don't want a, a seam in it at all, the weakest parts where it's going to break. If we do it this method and fold it over, uh, it never has a weak spot in it and it stays uniformly the same thickness all the way around. So let's go ahead and get to it. We've already taken the liberty of removing the center. It's 24 karat gold. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold this over. Now we have a conical shape. Nice cone. All right, and next we will heat this up. We will anneal this and quench it. Set that there to dry for a second. All right, so this is nice and dried off now. What we need to do is we need to look at the inside rim here, make sure that there are no cracks forming. And I do see a few cracks. Okay. So that's easy enough to, to remedy. Knock these edges off. Check that out. I don't want to take too much off. That takes more and more weight off the ring. Thousand grit wet sandpaper. Get this edge real, real quick and even in here, just to smooth it out a little bit. See how much easier it bends now. Fold it right over, with no problem at all. Still no splits, that's what we're looking for. So we're gonna turn this around. So now the wider opening is now towards the tapered end. And still keeping this pulled back. Even ring, evenly rounded. 
grounded. That's pretty good. Right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to put it on the stretcher and open it up quite a bit to the desired size. We'll be right back. Before we put it on the stretcher, we need to go ahead and kneel it again. Since this is a rough ring with a hammered finish, we're not really going to worry about protecting the inside too much, but we are going to go extremely slow in the opening process here. I definitely do not want to create a, a crack and not have time to respond to it, otherwise it'll just rip the ring open. Flip it. All right, so we've annealed it and dried it off really well. Remember to dry, dry your metals off really well because your equipment, that moisture will cause your equipment to rust. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it over here on the side, just like this. I'm going to use the K&J refining stamp. All right, so it's set in there for 24K. Says 24K KJ refining. All right, so now that I've got um, the stamp inside, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and we're going to size this down a little bit. Let's go ahead and get it right there centered. Let the plunger straighten it out.
reduce it because it'll harden the gold. Now it is 24K, so it's not going to harden a lot. It's certainly still a soft material, but it's going to harden enough to where it'll bend on those shoes. So let's reduce it. Okay, so we still have it set on our last setting. Let's go ahead and get it centered again. There we go. Cool. Looks good to me. 100 million subscribers. <laughs> so, uh, the ring itself, even though it may look small, it's still a 5.2 gram ring. So, in today's market, that's worth right at right around three hundred dollars so um maybe then you can understand just a, a small amount of why even small gold products still cost a lot uh like i said we refine the gold to put into this ring to 24 karat it's the chemical process to to separate the gold from the base metals and the other impure metals that are in there you know, that all cost and as well as the time itself uh, to get just to 24K, it takes several hours, if not a day or two. So, you know, these, these all add up in expenses as well as disposal. Uh, all chemicals have to be disposed of properly. And in order to keep our groundwater supply healthy for, for our children and our grandchildren, the futures to come. So all these, all these things go into cost, but we do get some really nice jewelry out of it, uh, as well as a, a pure gold product. Now we do also, we take our 24K refined gold and we do alloy it to specific carats. So the less that we'll do is 10K. Um, we don't do 12K. So I do 10K, 14K, 18K, and 24K. 24K basically, is only going to be these type products right here and our bullion bars. So I'm very excited about showing you guys how we do these uh, products here. We have a variety of items that we produce for you folks. And you can check out our website at www.kandjrefining.com. That's K-A-N-D-J refining.com. I think I did that backwards on you guys. <laughs> if you'll notice on our website, uh, we have several items that we do custom uh, from custom jewelry to custom bullion to coin rings. We do sell um, pre-cut and faceted gemstones on there. I do not cut gemstones myself. Uh, all those gemstones are from refining customers that sent in jewelry to be refined and they just simply did not want or care about the gems afterwards. All they cared about was getting the precious metal back. So those gems do stay with us and we do sell those off. So check out the uh, KJ Refining Custom uh, Bullion Bars that we do. Uh, those are a really neat novelty, especially for the investor that you know. Now I've said gold a lot. We also do silver bars, custom silver bars. We also do custom platinum bars. Uh, we will be getting into palladium and we will be getting into rhodium uh, a little bit later on in the future. We also deal in coins. I love doing coin rings and coin rings are really, really neat. 
you may know somebody that has a coin ring and you would like to get one for yourself well I do those and I'll be glad to do one for you uh, generally the way that works is you either purchase a coin that we have for sale or you send a coin rather you own or purchase to have this done with uh, the coin will be shaped into a ring basically the exact same process as this ring was done today uh, the center's punched out and then it's folded over to your desired side if you want the obverse on the outside or if you want the reverse on the outside uh, it all it's all up to you what you'd like to have uh, we also have different finishes for those we can polish it or we can leave it just natural the way it was and return it to you that way uh, also we can antique it to where uh, all the fields on the, the ring would be darkened and the devices, everything that's raised on the ring will be nice and cleaned off, uh, basically a brushed finish. All right, so I'm gonna hand this over to Raven and she's gonna go over exactly how you need to go about entering into the drawing for the 1K Gold Giveaway. Hi everybody, uh, Raven Jones here. Welcome back to the K&J uh, Refining YouTube channel. I just wanna quickly go over the 1K Gold Giveaway that we'll be doing. So, we will be giving away this gold once we reach 1K subscribers on YouTube. It's gold that we found in some pay dirt that we went through on a different video. And uh, what you'll do is uh, you will click the tag and you'll go to that video. You'll like it and subscribe and you will be entered into the gold giveaway again to win this. So, that's all I have to say. Uh, back to you. Thank you, Raven, for taking care of that. Uh, that's exactly what you need to do to be entered into the 1K Gold Giveaway. This gold right here, it is 1.037 grams of nice plaster gold nuggets. So that'll go out at 1,000 subscribers. We'll have other little prizes as we go through the season, uh, as we achieve on and on. There'll be prizes such as one ounce tubes of pure silver crystal, these will go out ever so often. We'll have live drawings on YouTube about these also. So you have to be present to claim these. We have three of those that are gonna be going out. I haven't actually decided when we're gonna be giving them out. It's probably gonna be at random. So make sure you are paying attention to that YouTube icon. With that being said, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, KJ Refining.